All right, so welcome back to a new one. And on this one, we need to talk about the splitter. Now, uh, when you are on a channel, and in this case, I'm using Superhero Drummer, as you can hear, it's just a tiny little MIDI track. So when you go to your channel, you have an option that says Channel Editor. If you go there, at the top, you have three different options. First, it's gonna be whatever channel that you have, then it's gonna be the macros, and then you have the splitter section. We're gonna talk about this. If I go maybe and find a plugin, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna throw an EQ and I'm gonna put it on my inserts. And as you can see, if you go to the splitter section, you can see a line and then you, you can see your other effects. So this line represents whatever signal is that you're trying to process. And in between, we, you know, we have the Pro Q3 doing something. If I go to Pro Q3 and, you know, I'm gonna be playing it, I'm gonna be chopping the lows. We can hear that we are removing the low frequencies. So again, the line is a representation of, of your sound. And then on the top, on top, whatever it is that you're trying to use to process. Now, the thing is that what we want to do here is that we want to split this signal in some fashion. And you need to, what you need to do is to grab the splitter, click and drag. And you're gonna need to drag it right here. Now here comes the most important part of this. When you split the signal, you can split it on th um, three different ways. You have the normal mode, which is the parallel processing type of thing. Then you have the channel split, which is gonna be left and right. And then you have the frequency, which is, you know, frequency. I'm gonna be going maybe uh, to, I don't know, decapitator. And I'm gonna throw the plugin. You can throw grab grab a, a plugin and throw it right here. So I'm gonna be putting it maybe after the Pro Q3. So it doesn't matter that we are doing. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off. That we are doing splitter. Everything goes through, and then it goes to the Pro Q3 and then decapitator. But I don't want to do this. I want to do parallel processing, which is the normal mode. So I'm gonna grab the Pro Q3 and I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna grab the decapitator and put it right here. And on the decapitator, I'm gonna be double clicking and doing some, you know, some drive. So when I play it back, it's gonna sound like this. So remember what we are doing is uh, splitting normal, which is the parallel processing. If you click on this line, it's going to mute the signal. So the only thing that goes through now is gonna be the dry signal. If I click here, it's gonna mute the dry one. And if I click it here, we only get the processed one. Now the point of all of this, is that you have two faders, the dry in this case and the wet. And right here is the same thing. So I could go down on the process. So the only one going, going through is gonna be the dry, but I can blend the process signal. And then of course we can, at the end of this line, we're gonna be getting a blend of the dry and a blend of the wet. And that's the whole point. Of course, it's a little bit too much, I'm going really aggressive, but you know, this is what we can do with this splitter in normal mode. The splitter can do multiple splits. Right now we are doing just two, but we can go up to five if we wanted to. So if I wanted to, uh, I could maybe use Pro Q3 on this one, go to the decapitator on the other one, and I don't know, bring something else like a, I'm gonna bring the beat delay, it doesn't matter, it's just to show you. And now we have the dry signal, we have another signal going to the, going through the Pro Q3, then decapitator, and then beat delay. I'm gonna go to beat delay and make it mix of 100%. So when I play it back, we are gonna be getting a lot. Right, so we get the Pro Q3, I could go all the way down on this one, all the way down, and all the way down on the delay. So the only thing that we're getting is gonna be the dry one. But maybe I want to blend a little bit of the Pro Q3, a little bit of the decapitator. And just like this, you create your blends. Maybe a little bit of B delay. Maybe this is too much, of course. Just like this again, you just create your splits and you process and then you blend. This is one of the, um, the features that you get with the splitter, what you can do. Now there's one more thing I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go to this one and just, you know, remove the plugins. It doesn't matter in this case. I'm gonna go here and even remove the splitter that you see right there. So in the past, the only way that we had to create a splitter or to, create, uh, to use the splitter was to go to the channel, the editor, and then just go to the splitter and create it. But there was no indication on each of the channels that we had, a, uh, we were using a splitter. 
now, uh, on at least on the 6, I believe they started to apply this on the 5, on the uh, Studio One 5. Uh, when you throw a splitter, it's going to show here as, as a, a, a plugging. So now all the channels, you can take a look and you will know when you're splitting the signal or not. So it's still what you get if you uh, take a look or here, you can find the splitter as a plugging or effects. So if I wanted to create a split, instead of going to the channel editor, you can just throw the instance of the splitter right here. And when you double click it, you will get it. So within the timeline or channel, you can create multiple splits. Let me bring some plugins. I'm going to put the same Pro Q3 and the decapitator again. Why not? So we have one split and we, we already know this. We are going to normal. We are splitting and doing parallel processing, but maybe I want to do the same thing after this signal. So you can even, you can drag it, you know, go to split and create a new split here. And now whatever it is that you're doing here will go to the split number two. And again, it's just the same idea. You can create right here more splits and use more processing and so on and so on and so on. It works the same way. And you could even take this and maybe go to this path, which is the dry, remember? And you can create a new split within the dry signal. So it's just really, really cool. As you start using more splitters, your inserts are going to grow because now you have the icon there, you know, you have the instance. But, you know, this is much better than before. Before it was a little bit confusing because you, you didn't know which channel had a split. So you have to go channel by channel just, you know, finding the splitter. But in this case, you know, now it's really simple. You, you see it right there. Okay, so this is the normal mode. It's the parallel processing type of uh, thing. I'm going to go to this. You can click and remove, and then you can click and remove, click and remove. So we only have one split. So the next one is going to be the channel split. If I click on this one, now it's going to be a little bit different because this is going to be left and this is going to be right. If I play it, I'm going to maybe, you know what? I'm going to go to something that it's not super aggressive. So now if I play it, can you hear the difference? Hopefully you're using some headphones or maybe good speakers. So this one is the left, this one is the right. If I mute this, we get it in the left, we don't get it in the right. And if I go to the other one, we get the beat delay on the right side. So it's just left and right. Now what if I wanted to create more splits like we did before? I'm gonna go to four because, you know, it makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this back and you know, I'm gonna turn it off. Now, if I mute them all, you could assume that maybe the ones on the right are going to be the right side and the ones on the left are going to be left, but that's not the case. I'm going to click this, that's going to be the left, but the next one is going to be the right. If I mute this and I go here, this one is the left, this one is the right. So that's how it works when we are, you know, working on channel split. So if I turn this on, this one, remember, is going to be at the right and we can mute this. And now we have the beat delay going in the right side. Maybe I can bring a decapitator, put it right here, and it's going to be on the left. And you can, you know, of course, just bring different effects and process them on a different way. And then remember, you always have your blend right here. But since this is left and right, you need to, of course, do the work. All right, so all this super fun. Uh, I'm gonna be deleting the effects for now. Maybe I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna bring the, the uh, beat delay and the decapitator. I'm gonna put them right here so I can reuse them. I'm gonna stop everything. I'm gonna go to the splitter. And now what do I want to do? I'm gonna go to two, but this time I'm gonna use the frequency split. So the uh, frequency split is pretty special. It will, of course, uh, split by frequency. So if I play this, and now I'm just going to turn them, them off. When I go here, you're going to see one. You have two splits. That's how this will work. Well, the thing is, and right now the levels are not matched. It means that this one is going to be the number one. Everything that will go through the first one, it's below 240. And everything above is going to be the other one. 
So if you think about this, this we are creating like a multi-channel, right? So we can do uh, multi-band processing. So I'm going to create maybe three splits just to, again, show you how this works. So now maybe I'm going to decide that the 400 and something is going to be the one and the other one is going to be like 1K something. So now how this works, if I have to give you an example, is that everything below 419 is going to be the line number one everything above the 419 and below 1.3k is going to be the two and then everything above the 1.3k is going to be the line three that's how it works so now maybe i could go here put the decapitator then put the delay here and i'm going to just turn and turn it on so if i mute this i mute this and mute this of course we get nothing but if i go here what we are getting is everything uh, above 1.3k processed by the beat delay in the midst 400 and, uh, 400 and 1.3 is a decapitator and everything below it's going to be the other signal that is that it's super low get the mids and we get the highs and just like this we just can process whatever is that we want in a multi-band fashion just with a splitter and okay so this is how it works you can go nuts creating splits and chains and so on and so on and so on it's super useful but you know sometimes you need to do a lot of work and always remember that you can save it so you can reuse it later if you go to your inserts you can of course store your effects chain and just then recall it back whenever you have to use it because you know whatever it is that we are doing right here is just pretty special and it takes time so always remember to, you know, store it whenever you have the chance, you know, whenever you do something that you think it's super cool, just save it and then you can reuse it later. If you liked all of this and you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.